certain detail about this reaction. This reaction describes a bimolecular second order chemical reaction. And that's because this is the rate of the reaction, V naught, K cad divided by Km, that's the reaction rate constant. And these are our two substrates and they each have an exponent of one. So the order of this is one and the order of this is one. And so the total order of the reaction is two. So this is a typical bimolecular second order chemical reaction that takes place inside our body under enzyme catalyzed conditions. Now, according to this equation, we see that the enzyme catalyzed reactions, when they take place inside our cells, the rate of the enzyme, the rate at which the enzyme actually catalyzes that reaction depends on three different things. Number one, it depends on the concentration of that substrate. Number two, it depends on the concentration of that enzyme. And number three, it depends on the rate constant, Kcad, divided by Km. Now, A makes sense because if we have more substrate, more substrate is going to bind on the active side and more that substrate will basically be transformed into the product as a result. Likewise, if we, if we increase the concentration of the enzyme, we have more active sites and so more likelihood that the substrate will be transformed into the product. And finally, what about Kcad divided by Km? What exactly is the meaning behind Kcad divided by Km, the rate constant of this reaction? Well, it turns out that this is what we actually use to measure the catalytic efficiency of enzymes. So how enzymes or how efficient are enzymes in catalyzing a certain type of substrate. So let's remember what Kcat means and let's remember what Km means because if we remember what these two quantities mean individually, we can then basically decipher what the meaning is behind this ratio. So let's begin with Kcat. So Kcat, as we discussed in the previous lecture, is known as the turnover number. And Kcat basically describes how many of the substrate molecules are transformed into the product molecules per unit time per single active site, per single enzyme. So KCAD, the turnover number, tells us how many substrate molecules are transformed into product molecules by single active site per unit time, usually per second. Now, what about Km? Well, Km has two meanings. One meaning of the Km basically tells us it's the substrate concentration that gives us a rate of Vmax divided by two. But the other meaning of Km, basically Km describes how attracted that enzyme, the active side, is to that substrate. So if we have a very high Km value, what that means is that active site is not very likely to bind onto that substrate. But if the Km value is low, that means there will be a very good binding that takes place between the substrate and that particular active site. So if we take a look at the following ratio, a very high Km value basically means this ratio will be small and so the velocity, the rate of that reaction will be small. And that makes sense because if Km is small, that means the substrate is not going to bind very well to that active site and if it can bind well, it will not spend long enough time to basically be catalyzed into that product. On the other hand, if Km is low, this ratio is high, and so V0 is high. And so if Km is low, that means the affinity for that substrate and active site is high, and so that substrate will be able to spend enough time to catalyze it into that product. And likewise, if K if, if K cat is high, that means this ratio is high and this velocity will be high. So we see that ultimately the ratio of Kcat divided by Km, which is the rate constant in this reaction here, basically can be used as a measure of how well that enzyme actually catalyzes that particular substrate.
Now, the final question I'd like to answer is, what exactly is the limit of this quantity, of this ratio? How high can this ratio actually be for this particular reaction here? So, can it be infinitely large or is there some finite value that this ratio can actually take? Well, to answer this question, let's actually define what kcat divided by km means in equation form. So, remember from this discussion that km is equal to k minus 1 plus kcat divided by k1. So, we have kcat divided by km, and now if we replace km with this ratio and rearrange a little bit, this is what we get. So K1 divided by K minus 1 plus K cat, and the whole thing is multiplied by K cat. Now, let's bring the K cat to this side and take out the K1 so that we get the following rearranged version of this same ratio. So K cat divided by Km is equal to K cat divided by K1 plus K cat, and the whole thing is multiplied by K1. Now, notice what this ratio is. The ratio is some number given by k cat divided by that same number k cat plus some positive number. And so if we have a number divided by some positive number plus k cat plus itself, this will basically be a ratio that is less than 1. Now, what is the maximum value of this ratio? Well, the maximum number of this ratio is basically reached when this value approaches zero. So when this quantity approaches zero, that basically means we have k cat divided by k cat, and that gives us one. So the maximum, the highest possible value of this ratio in parentheses is one. And when this is equal to one, then we see that this ratio is simply equal to k1. And so the highest possible value that can be achieved by k cat divided by km is equal to k1. And mathematically, this is how we express that. So if we take the limit as k minus 1, this approaches 0. So if we plug in a 0 here, this divided by this gives us 1, and the limit is simply equal to k1. And what that means is, that physical limit that determines how high this ratio can get is basically the rate constant for this reaction where K1 is simply the rate constant that describes the formation of that enzyme substrate complex. So the limiting factor that basically limits how high this ratio can get is how quickly we actually form that enzyme substrate complex in the first place. So ultimately, if K minus 1 is very small, and what that means is this reaction doesn't take place very quickly, if that is true, then this entire ratio here, the rate constant for this reaction, will essentially approach K1, which is the rate constant of the formation of the enzyme substrate complex from the enzyme and its substrate.